welcome you all to GI sub YouTube channel this is our second video in the first video we have discussed about the what is remote sensing and the process of remote sensing I mean today's video we will be discussing about the characteristics of electromagnetic radiation actually electromagnetic radiation is a carrier of electromagnetic energy by transmitting the oscillation of electromagnetic field through space and time Electromagnetic radiation has the characteristics of both wave motion and particle motion which means electromagnetic radiation is a type of wave which transmits electromagnetic energy and it has both electric field and magnetic field because of that it has both wave motion characteristics as well as particle motion characteristics. So let's have a look about the characteristics as wave motion. Electromagnetic radiation can be considered as a transverse wave with an electric field and a magnetic field. You can clearly see that in the left side uh, figure, an electric field and the magnetic field are in the perpendicular plane to transmission direction. That's why we call it as a transverse wave. Uh, I think you all know about this equation V equals F lambda V means the velocity uh, F means the frequency which is measured in Hertz and lambda means the wavelength Electromagnetic radiation transmitted in a vacuum of free space with the velocity of light Frequency means the number of waves which are transmitted within a second and a wavelength means the distance between two adjacent crest or trough. Uh, now we discuss about the characteristics as a particle motion. Electromagnetic radiation can be treated as photon or light quantum because it transmits energy. In other words, we can consider electromagnetic radiation as composed with particles. So, in the right side figure, the energy of the photon can be written as E equals H C divided by lambda. Here H means the Planck constant, C means the velocity of light and the lambda means the wavelength. And we can simplify the equation as in the middle E equals H nu. Here the H is the same Planck constant and the nu is the frequency. And let's have a look of the wavelength regions of electromagnetic radiation. Wavelength regions of electromagnetic radiation have different names ranging from gamma ray, x-ray, ultraviolet, visible light, infrared to radio wave. In other form of the short wavelengths. The shorter the wavelength is, the more electromagnetic radiation is characterized as particle motion with more linearity and uh, directivity. The electromagnetic radiation regions used in remote sensing are near UV, which means ultraviolet, visible light, near short wave and thermal infrared, and microwave. The spectral range of near infrared and short wave infrared is sometimes called the reflective infrared because the range is more influenced by solar reflection rather than the emission from the ground surface then let's have a look about the elements of electromagnetic radiation actually there are four elements of electromagnetic radiation they are frequency transmission direction amplitude and plane of polarization the amplitude is the magnitude of oscillating electric field the square of amplitude is proportional to the energy transmitted by electromagnetic radiation the energy radiated from an object is called radiant energy. A plane including electric field is called plane of polarization. When the plane of polarization forms a uniform plane, it is called linear polarization. The four elements of electromagnetic radiation are related to different information contents. Uh, such as the frequency or the wavelength corresponds to the color of an object in the visible region 
which is given by a unique characteristics curve relating to the wavelength and the radiant energy. In the microwave region, information about objects is obtained using the Doppler shift effect in frequency that is generated by a relative motion between an object and the platform. The spatial location and the shape of objects are given by the linearity of the transmission direction as well as by the amplitude. The plane of polarization is influenced by the geometric shape of objects in the case of reflection or scattering in the microwave region. So up to now we have discussed about uh, what is remote sensing and the process of remote sensing. Then in today's video the characteristics and the elements of electromagnetic radiation. So in next video we will be discuss about more fundamentals of remote sensing. And thank you for watching uh, the video. If you like the content, please subscribe the channel and click the bell icon. Then you can uh, receive videos as soon as I upload the videos. So, thank you. See you soon in the next video.